Welcome back, everyone. It is absolutely unbelievable. Some of the plays I've been putting out in the Stock Mode Discord are exploding up, and I couldn't be happier. Let's start out with some positive. We're going to talk about DJT. Obviously, we're going to see how that played out. I thought, and I discussed this, that it would have a blow off top right out of the gates in the pre markets and then act just like every meme where it comes down. It did exactly that. It kind of leveled out. And we did get the notification of a VP pick too. So a lot of things going out and it's kind of flat. We'll look at it, but big money being made. We got other plays I want to talk about that are running like a champ who, for those who've been following me, if you've been DCAing into ETHE, today is a banner day. Oh, if you're not in the Discord, get over there. I see some people post after I post here. Uh, a couple of plays, everybody uh, who followed me on my Mara play from late last week, already killing it. Put in 400, pulled out nine seven or up 578. That's over 100% up. I love seeing that. Uh, a couple other plays in here you can see. Uh, but anyway, so good stuff. I have mine in here that are still active. They're still live as we speak. I put them in just before I did this video. AXP, there you go. You guys can see some plays. I like to give you guys some plays. And I know you're going to say, well, Mo, it's too late. Well, get into the Discord. I dropped three new plays today. We'll see how they do. But a lot. remember, I do a stop loss of 30%. So even if I'm wrong on a couple, which I am, uh, the ones that I've been destroying are absolutely on fire. Up 310, up 234. And look at 91%, 100%, 162. We are on fire. We're doing very, very well. And of course, I believe, and I hope some of the other ones will too. And you can see a lot of the, the gainers people are putting out there. And I love it when the community is eating well and everybody can share in this. So you're seeing a lot of different people, uh, life changing. Yeah, everything's good. I'm here to teach. We got the course in here. Well, I shouldn't say the course. We have a trading little lessons we're doing to help. The overall course I have for my technicals is over. Uh, the link's down below, code MO to save, M-O-E to save a ton on that. But really, we got a lot of good things going on. So we'll share some of the wins out there. My first ever call option. Love seeing it up 200 and something dollars. So I'm trying to teach people how to play options and doing it in a very small way. I, I buy about $300 per option. And so as we go forward, you're going to have big wins. I love seeing some of the people out there with some of their wins as well. 300% uh, up and, of course, 127% up. It's up to each person and, of course, uh, how much they're going to make based off those. And you can see a lot of the different plays along the way. So good stuff. And if you're not a part of it, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited about this. The link is directly down below. First link right here. Click it. Come join us. And for those who are like, hey, Mo, what do you mean? Well, right here, you can save 15% by clicking that. You get an annual membership if you would like. I do recommend annual for current and future members. It'll save you 15%. And the trades I'm putting out there, somebody said, I just paid for years with one trade. I said, and that's it's the truth. For a little over a buck a day, you can come on in here and check it out. Now, the markets all over the place, right? I said that I believed that the pre-markets would lead us up to a run just like GameStop, AMC, all of them. And what happened? I said I would expect it to come down, take profit off the beginning, come down and kind of sideways. And it's exactly what it did. I, I, the only thing I'd be honest with you, I would have thought it would have closed close to a low. The low actually hit, I believe, right here, 39.05. And that is. So I, I'm a little shocked that that was the low. I thought we would have dropped a little more. So. It did not, and but I, I will say it again, I believe it'll be very similar to what you saw before. Blow up top, you come down, you get blow off tops, could happen in the next few days with the convention and everything else, and then you meander down. So it, the strength today is a good sign, though, for those who are bullish. You got a nice solid sideways there. We'll see how that works out overall. Now, we had some other plays. For those who've been following me, it's a celebration. ETHE. Up almost 10% today, up 9.41%. And for those who know how many thousands and thousands of shares, there's your four o'clock whistle, thousands and thousands of shares. I'm close to 10,000 shares of this. So when you see it up $2.73, you can do the math. It is a monster day. Now, TMF dropped a little bit. Don't think I don't know that. TMF down a little bit as Ethereum was up. What is going on? Well, let me kind of explain it to you here. Uh, we'll pull up TMF. So I'm going to try to explain why there is a tale of two cities here. So TMF down 
the good news is I actually got more of this. So that was up 9%. So overall, I made a lot of money today. And it was a good day. And the options are doing well. Everything's doing well. And um, with that being said, when you come over and look at TMF and say, why was this up and this was down? That's part of my whole overall portfolio strategy. Remember, I was a financial advisor for one of the United States' largest financial advising firms out there. And that was back in my day. I loved it. I learned a lot. But one of the things I learned about is diversifying for all sorts of issues in the market. And so part of my portfolio is in the treasuries, the long dated treasuries. I get it. I know that if inflation reared up, this would get hit. I know that if certain things happen, this would get hit. One of those things, and I'm talking about the unemployment drops all of a sudden, this would get hit. But if unemployment goes higher, this does better. If inflation turns into deflation, this does better. If all of a sudden we have a stock market crash and everything kind of tumbles, this should do well. But one of the other variables out there, just like crypto, is who's going to be president. And I'm not here to tell you who to vote for, but I am going to tell you what happens when one or the other wins. And I'm talking red or blue. So if red wins, you see crypto absolutely exploding. Uh, uh, Donald Trump has been very open about being extremely, extremely open to helping crypto, wants the U.S. to be the biggest crypto place out there. So if you're a crypto person, you're wondering why it's up today. It's because of what happened over the weekend, of course. And we know, uh, you know, that changes everything. This is it. That was the change. Now, we don't know how it's going to play out. And, you know, a lot of people are set on what they're going to do already, no matter what happens out there. And But the markets out there, for those who have been following some of the markets, uh, how they're pricing things in, they're pricing in better odds of a red president. And so if a blue president wins, you would see this fall, most likely, but you would see this go higher. Now, you might be saying, why? Well, you say, you know, if we have a red president, this fell. You know, this would fall a little bit, what you're seeing. They're seeing the odds change, so they're pricing that in. Because <clears throat> what would happen is you would have tax cuts. People who work would get a tax cut, which is fantastic, right? You're thinking, why is that bad? Well, in tax cuts, there's two different things uh, the way they think. And I'm going to be very, very just transparent. I'm a teacher. I taught college and high school level economics, all that stuff. So here you go. In cutting taxes, the idea is to allow people to have more money, companies to have more money, and they, they take that money and they go out and they spend it. In all these spending and everything else, we hope that the GDP would increase and you get more revenue to the government that through that way. The other way, and that is the way the Republicans kind of look at it, lower taxes, allow the, the, the economy to grow, let businesses grow, people have more money. And the other way to look at it is through taxation on corporations, those who make over 400,000. That's what Biden said he was going to raise taxes on those who make over 400,000 and companies. Well, that is an instant income right, right away. The Republican way is that it has to grow and it takes time. So that revenue, and they could equal the amount of tax re revenue they get. But one is up front, one is down the road. And so the down the road one means they're still going to need the money up front to go ahead and pay the bills. So if you tax everybody right away, they're not going to have as much money to spend. Corporations aren't going to have enough money. But that also means that up front, the blue will not have to sell as many treasuries. But down the road, you will see a slower economy when you tax that much. Uh, on the other side, you will have less money up front for the red, and they have to sell more treasuries, thus putting pressure on yields, and they rise short term. But long term, they should be able to pull back on how many treasuries they need as the revenue starts to pick up, and that will come back. And so you have two, and just say they're equal. It's just the effect up front and the effect down the road. And so you could see more trouble with the blue down the road, but not up front for TMF. With TMF for the red, more trouble up front, less down the road. So if you say, hey, I believe they're both equal, it's just 
how we get to that revenue for the government, that explains it very simply. There's more to it, of course, but that is what I wanted to kind of come on here and give everybody a lesson on TMF, why it changed since the weekend, the massive change for crypto. Uh, obviously, how upfront Trump has been about growing crypto, push crypto up because the markets are pricing in a better opportunity for him to become president. If Biden wins, you are going to see a rally on TMF and most likely a drop on crypto. Trump was the opposite. You were going to see a rally on crypto and a drop on TMF, which we saw today. And so for everybody watching, thinking, okay, how would any event affect my holdings when it comes to crypto and those treasuries, the long dated treasuries? I hope I cleared this up a little bit. And you should be able to continue to see that play out that way. So a lot of money being made. We're trying to stay diversified for all things. I didn't want to go all in one. I didn't want to go all in the other. I realized there will be moments where things change, which obviously uh, we don't know. We can't predict that. They call those black swan events. They're events that are unpredictable. The possible, you know, the possible events out there could be war. It could be anything. And it could be terrorism. It could be anything. But we can't predict them. But the one thing we do know is that no matter how much we don't ever want to see bad things happen out there in the world, they're going to continue to happen. So the best thing we can do is diversify, be prepared for all of them, and hopefully grow the portfolios higher and higher. I can tell you after today, I have never, ever seen my portfolio overall, all my investments, as high as it is today. I broke a record today and I was so happy. It's crazy. It's been one of the best years. I made hundreds of thousands and I still want to make another 100 to 200K this year. So if you're not in there with me, come on over and join. One of the latest plays I put out there was Mara. And you guys, for those, are like, Mara, you never buy the miners. No, because I wait until I think there's a, a perfect time. And I'm not buying. I know a lot of people are like, I'm not, I'm not buying them. I'm not touching them. I was all about it. Because uh, for those who followed me, we came down, we hit off my support, and I bought off the support. And I had this lined out perfectly, nice support. And I knew it might take a day or two, but once we hit the support and start to run, which we did here, that was the, uh, that's what I was looking for. And we got it. And it was off my support. And I said, look, more times than not, we're going to make money. I'm, I'm going in on this one. Two contracts. Let's go. Uh, a lot of people followed me. And I, I never tell people what to buy and sell. People are like, should I buy this? Should I buy it? I don't tell you. All I do is share my reasoning and what I'm in. And I, I, it's, the blue collar options are mostly technical plays and they're very, very tiny. And I'm not putting a lot of money in. I'm putting a couple of hundred dollars in each play. That's it. If I'm wrong, I lose roughly 90 bucks. But if I'm right, I can win and just kill this up a, a ton. I can make thousands. We had one that was up 400%, I believe, at one time, which would be roughly 1,200 bucks up. Uh, and it depends when you get out as well. So I set a 30% stop loss and I'll let some of the runners really run. Uh, this one ran nice, but we're in the overbought. But because it was a, a really unpredictable moment, there is a chance it could run more. But last time we seen this right here, overbought, over, started to come back down. So I did sell half of my shares. I should say half of my options and I have half of them left. And I put a stop, uh, basically I'm watching. I didn't put a stop loss. I'm watching uh, for a certain number to get hit. If it gets hit, I'm out. And so that's what I'm doing. And you can see it, a nice little, nice little pattern here. There is a chance it could run higher. We could get all the way up to 34. It's only at, basically it's only at 24. So if this thing could run 10, 10 bucks up over the next th three weeks, I would be able to make another additional thousand dollars. And that's on one contract. So we'll see if that happens. Uh, it's been a really good run so far. Uh, if, you if you're not in, though, like I said, come on over, click that first link. It is absolute fire over here. Like, If you want to save right here 15%, you can do that for a little over a buck a day. You can do one annual payment. It's You pay for the year that way. This is monthly. Uh, the premium gets you the bots, the bread bot, the alerts, uh, the AI, all kinds of stuff. So you want to get in there and take advantage of that and join us. Uh, for those who didn't get the free stocks from Moomoo, this is unbelievable. Put 100 bucks in. You got to use the link right here, second link down. But you get five free stocks for putting 100 bucks in. And if you put 1,000 in, you get 15 free stocks. Plus, no matter how much money you have in there, if you're signing up using my link, 
You get 8.1% APY for three months for the money just sitting in your account, which find a place where you're getting 8.1% risk-free. You're not going to find it. Take advantage of it. And of course, Code Mo is down to its last few days. MOE for the course. If you want to get in there, just you can learn all the all the all the not the option, but all the technical. We're working on an option uh, course, but we'll get there. All right. Now, if you're part of the Discord, put down below how you know is it worth it to you? Are you seeing some of these option plays? The blue collar options are on fire, and I'll let you speak on the behalf of the Discord. It's a great community outside of the option plays. We have good plays in there for the long term plays. We have a great positive place, and the learning library is on fire. We continue to add sections to that. It is good. All right, I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and crush it.